What's up guys? This is the Raverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to pick up where we left off, we've been intercepted by uh, some Persian forces coming out of Azerbaijan, which might be more advantageous in the long run because we can destroy their troops before our army gets towards Azerbaijan. But first you have to knock out their troops, so this initial force that's actually hit us is made up of mostly irregulars. But then the second force is a lot more regular. But I don't think we're going to have many problems knocking them out. So let's take them down. So I think really, our Blitzkrieg across from... Uh, across through Persia is going quite well. But I think what could be useful is if we decided to try and be a bit more offensive in Europe. Because right now, I am resting on my laurels a bit there. I should probably be a bit more uh, mobile and conduct some more uh, striking operations. Okay. Okay, so let's move some of my... Move some guns over to the right. Deploy some troops in the centre. Uh, let's make sure my sensor is selected. Yeah, so annoyingly I did do some tinkering prior to the this recording session in trying to get make sure the sound was fixed. Like I deleted my sound file completely and I verified the integrity of the game files to see if I could make that work. But apparently not. Oh, there we go. No, then it's decided to work. Get my cavalry on either flank. General, probably on the right. And then my howitzers. Deploy, dropping, quick climb. So let's stretch this line out a bit more. Get my coeur de bois out on the flank. Get my heavy cavalry out there. I'd like some of my artillery to really start nick, uh, taking out some of these camel teams. But really, I suppose we should just focus on being. We should focus on being a bit more uh, focused on knocking out their artillery for now, especially as they are marching towards us and my howitzers and. Artillery can do good work. I'm not so bad about camel gunners, per se. Let's speed up time. Okay, these guns count canister shot the camel gunners. Ah, see, sound was there. You go. Sound was working temporarily for one reason or another. Back to round shot. Push up the flank. And you guys blast these camel nomads at short range with canister shot. Switch back to round shot and hit the guns. Turn guard mode on, knock these guys into square. Pick new targets. Can you guys make ready? Camel gunners are coming. So my guard decor aim at the at the uh, desert warriors these camel guns are likely to route before they get to the line yeah there we go the 
Camel Gunner's trying to get into close range again. Start kind of shotting the fella in. Get some artillery coming in. They're firing into this combat with the Desert Warriors. Push my infantry up, run my cavalry back. My artillery, round shot the levy. Let's start to pick some of these. Ooh, let's actually get some of these musketeers with quick climb shot. You guys get back to back out of square. My cavalry come back and hit the general's bodyguard. You guys get out of square. Let's curve this left flank up. There you go. Felina are okay, but they aren't. They're not very good infantry. I mean, I'd rather have almost anything else. Okay, let's push this wing of infantry up. You guys focus on the Zamandari horsemen. Killed the enemy general. Our left wing can move up. Those are warriors should go down pretty quick. Move you guys up into the woods. Keep picking new artillery targets. Bring you guys up to the front. There you go, the cavalry's perished. Ah, look at that. You know Zamandari horsemen routed away, but see this is the most frustrating thing. I hate how they can route their direction to route is through our lines. It really feels like that shouldn't be a thing. If they're going to route, they should route to safety in the other direction. You're ripe for a quick climb shot, as are you. units can round shots. These Kizobashi on the right flank. But yeah, so they, for a little sneak attack, they knock out my artillery. Get this cavalry back to our lines. What matters is we've still got our howitzers. So no matter what happens, we've still got a relatively potent artillery force. They've still got men coming in on, off the field. Okay, deploy my horse guards to chase him down. Make sure they don't come back. Okay, let's push up the field. This artillery here can focus on new units coming in. Same with my howitzers, really. Let's 
So they're shattered. Okay, good. So you can now try to focus on another unit. Okay, let's redeploy our cavalry again. You keep mowing down these routing troops. Push up our right flank. Yeah, those Kizilbashi Musketeers aren't going to be here for very long. This unit, the 10th, is actually holding out fairly well. But they will likely suffer the same fate. Oh, camels to the rear. Call off our pursuit. Flank secured. Well, more secured. Could probably do with focus firing a bit more of our quick climb on the right flank. Okay, you men push up to positions inside the town. The camels are coming. So our light infantry run away behind the square. So to be honest, it looks like we've got them pretty well surrounded. Looks like our, well, the devastating f effect of our firepower is still coming home. These musketeers are charging. Get these guys out of square and counter charge. These men focus on the musketeers at the back. Okay, let's take these guys. Keep pushing our flank. Our guard de corps are going to smash through the centre of the map while our artillery can, begins to focus on units towards their rear. Field artillery focus on the first. Now you're focusing on the second order. Everyone else is attacking the third order. These men are just pouring volley fire into these enemy troops. Okay, good. So then these men drove forward these units on the flank, reform. These units really need to run past that combat, if possible. The units set up a new firing position. You guys get out here on the right. Now the light infantry aim at the 27th. you guys charge the first that should upset them significantly field artillery engage foot artillery our infantry are engaging them with rapid fire once this auto Kizilbashi unit has been destroyed we can take position or move this unit to take position here and 
My some of my militiamen are upset. Get my cavalry out on the flank. Let's set up our line like this. There we go. Musketeers on the right have been pushed back, so continue to advance our line. Now they came back. They both came back. Reload, knock out the 31st. Field artillery, focus on the 27th. There we go, guard to core, get out of position. Infantry line up. curve the majority of the effort actually that is all that's all of them let's commit our cavalry to try and chase down whoever we can dictate our field artillery to continue to pound the enemy it's unlikely they'll be able to catch many of them because the edge of the map is right there so we can take what we can get, although I might get my general to chase down that unit. And let's pivot my cavalry around to hit the 8th. I mean, they're very tired, so as far as cavalry goes, they're not going to be super efficient. Stop my artillery from firing. Speed up time. Just get some kills. Some kills are better than none. When you guys need to line up against these gunners. Because artillery getting rid of artillery can be a bit frustrating. Well, actually, not very frustrating, because they were, at least they weren't bugged. They were just a unit that was stuck. But still, that was, that was dicey, but it was a good win. I mean, our forces have been blunted and our advance halted. Yeah, Persians are continuing to shuffle around and be frustrating, but I don't think it's going to be enough to uh, halt our action. Like, look, they just ran past that army because they had no movement zone. So this army up to the north is likely to march southwest. Okay, we've got an agent there. Trade gain, mention in dispatches. You guys hold position and... and uh, have they, those guys are replenished already. Oh no, they're a different unit. You guys might fall back a bit, actually. And... Replenish. You guys are recruiting a new army. Ready for orders. Sir. Orders. You men are replenished. So you... To be honest, you might just run around like this and then hit them. Or at least you're ready. You're now there to hit them if you need to. You can continue to blitz your way up the front. Let's get a church school built in Persia. You might cause some issues, but not many. I mean, yeah, you guys got hammered. But you need cavalry, which I'm fairly sure I'm recruiting somewhere else. To, no, you don't really need cavalry. Well, 
Or do I give them more Gherkins? Well, these guys are going to finish knocking out this Persian army in the hills. And while they're doing that, they can also march to Baghdad. Uh, I don't know, I suppose you can... Uh, Let's do that. At the ready. Yes, my lord. Theodore's replenishing, ready to go chase down Arzeg Temortash. Enemy raid in Camper, yeah I know. Let's fix it up. Fire in advance has been researched, and now we've gone all the way back to our shortened carbines isn't actually that far away. Orleans is still <laughs> Okay. What could probably be worthwhile? is recruiting another force in actually let's build a specific garrison army here in london so i do want a good chunk of howitzers i want some elite infantry so i do want to push out and hit those hit these guys here but i want to keep some troops are a bit more flexible in the front line. So this garrison is still replenishing. This army's got skirts. Prague under siege, but I don't expect that to last too long. Copenhagen is slowly filling up Sylvester Germain's army with some good equipment, so you need... Yeah, you can get some artillery. Let's upgrade the church school, upgrade the farm. Okay, can my army leave? Men. Minus six, down to minus five. One more turn. Sir. Let's build metal roads. Let's pick up some commercial upgrade I mean it might seem a bit redundant now because I've got all these Indian provinces but you know you can't have a good enough economy just in case things go badly wrong yeah you're waiting for Sweden to get up to their old tricks So we are in a good place to start to keep converting more of the Indian continent. Another army yes, here. Lord. Yes, my lord. So you men embark. The and they might actually land in Baghdad, uh, this side of the river properly. To harry the Ottomans from the west. Awaiting further orders. Can't do that, sir. So let's get this sloop back here. So you... Let's recruit a general and let's actually create... Mix these guys into a proper army. So I've got my artillery contingent. I've got... Some cavalry. So let's get... A unit of cuirassier and another unit of French light cavalry. Your orders, Your Majesty. There we go. So we've got eight infantry. Anything more? Try and get some mercenaries, but there's not there's not really a whole lot of yes, elite sir. units we can use. Forward, march. So I think that's too many, realistically. Yeah, there's two there's two units we can get out of there. Uh -huh. Okay. Satara's got a bit of a garrison. Some 
We've still got some good ships in India. What needs to happen, I think, is you need to attack this force here. Because right now we've got two, that's two full armies down here near Bandar Abbas, which need to be freed up in order to make them more useful on other fronts. We need to engage the enemy wherever they may be hiding. Especially as we want to get... Well, we need to clear the, the area out quick enough to be able to deploy more troops in, towards the front near Baghdad. Okay, this is going to be a bit more of a conventional looking battle. So there goes our field artillery. Two infantry and grenadiers on the flank. They'll be stretched out a bit more. So we know I will want to chase the enemy down. So let's bring the general into the mix. There we go. Ah, we need to get we need to push up. Because they've got oh damn. We got shrapnel shot. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to just sit there for very long. Gunners hit some of these more mobile units. So we do need to make progress pretty darn quick. So the first unit we're engaging is the 36th. Again, which sadly it seems like we're having sound problems. Now, I honestly don't know why this happens. So the 36th, oh, we've got some, some good hits. See, if they fire now, my field artillery is still engaging them. I need to keep my cavalry close, but I don't want them to hit the camels, that's the problem. There we go, we've chased away some of the some of the enemy guns. Let's target our new artillery against the 11th Topku Okagi. You men hit the camel gunners, some of our units hit some more of these men on the right, Keep the camels charged us, which I didn't see. But let's ignore that for now. The guns on the left, you might be better off trying to knock out, <clears throat> knock out some of the more battlefield targets. The sooner we bash through their army, the sooner we get to their artillery. See, they're in... well, they were in square. As long as they keep forming square, although you guys might have to charge into the rear of them, just to make them that much more upset. You guys hit the bowmen, pivot my flank around, now we're getting a bit of a local superiority on that flank. See, they're upset they got attacked in the rear, my cavalry is not going to really stand up, but if they reform square, which they have, that'll draw the camels into combat, and the camels are done for. Okay, these guns on the hill. Aim at that unit of mercenaries to the rear. You men chase down the Feline musketeers. You men hit the general's bodyguard. Yeah, 
you guys pretty much pivot your whole line, the artillery focus on that unit, 28. General's dead. Got a large enemy route here. Pick new how to target. Let's get my general into the mix. God, this is a big route. So much so I don't want my cuirassiers to be just running around after the general's bodyguard. Get on the offensive. Chase after them. Keep pushing up just to make sure if they do route they're not that far away from our men. The unit of Feline Musketeers right at the back. Where? Ah. General's bodyguard, run away from the camels. Don't go for the camels when there's easy pickings like this. All my howitzers start dropping shots on those mercenaries. Some Kizilbashi come back on that right flank. Hey, you guys might actually kill the foot artillery, that's pretty good. Good. You guys might actually kill that unit as well. Yeah, you may as well kill the gunners. This unit on the flank that came back has been immediately repulsed. Damn right we're going to continue. Um, stop our artillery from firing just in case there's a bit of fratricide. I mean, uh, I saw I saw the unit card. I saw the number drop rapidly there. Yeah, that should be okay. Ah, I forgot this artillery. These are the last guys on the map. There's six of them. We got a good shot. We've got a lot of cavalry there, and there's only six of them. Yeah, they've all stopped to fight. Well, nearly everyone. There we go. So that knocked back that army, which has made it a bit of a shell of its former self. By the land. March. So these armies can March. push up together. I don't know how much men, how many men Sanjar has. You. Okay, you need to lose a pleasure garden and replace it with a religious building. The garrison here in Afghanistan, I probably can't leave. I can leave. Very well. What won't help is me knocking down a pleasure garden. I might even knock down... Well, in due course, knock down two pleasure gardens. Because one of them needs to become a church school and the other needs to become a industrial building. You're going to become an industry building. Okay. You 
demand the surrender of Amsterdam because there is no garrison. There we go. All of our territories and units become ours. We can't immediately start recruiting. I don't want to rebuild anything. I want to knock down the university. I don't want to build anything because I just suspect that the AI, that the, the Austrians are going to turn around and begin to attack me. I want to build up a garrison force in London for Paris, or I could just build one in Paris, to be honest. Or I could build, I could do both. But you're creating all the elite infantry and the artillery. Then here we can recruit a lot of dogs, dogs body infantry, although, well, I know exactly how many men I can use, I can build, and that's exactly this line. Then get one unit of hussars. And then that'll be my garrison of Paris secured. And then this army can push hit this Austrian fellow here. This Austrian army, I can secure France and then maybe push down and threaten, threaten Madrid. Ah, oh, Army Staff College, that's, really not, that's not what I forgot to upgrade. Okay, let's do an infrastructure check in the Americas. I'm pretty sure... Ooh, there was one. Oh, I'm sure there was one I saw. Oh well. I'm pretty sure... Everywhere we've got... Well, we've at least upgraded the infrastructure of. It's one of the first things I normally upgrade. Yeah. Okay. So these Gurkhas... Okay, go up to Lahore, because we're going to build... We're going to use... We are... Go we are going to use these Gurkhas. I'm not going to not use them. Let's pick up some more French East India Company. I've done all the building work. I mean they've they've rioted and now they've they've chilled out now. Because we've knocked down the university. Workers on strike in Mesopotamia. Yeah I want this guy to stay here because it prevents them from breaking breaking through across the river. I don't know, Tigris or Euphrates, I can't remember which one it is. We can't really push north, so let's hit end turn. And let's see how the AI responds. I suspect the answer is not well. Like, if they hit us at Prague, I'm going to retreat, because that's two armies there. They're going to go back and carry on raiding. Uh, do I want them to attack me? The answer is maybe. Because that would draw out the garrison. They've got lots of good infantry, but then again, so do we. And we also have buckets of howitzers. So I think I probably want to do it. What I am going to do is quickly nip to the lure minute. So just one second, everyone. And I'm back. And awesome. God, an almighty line of howitzers. Okay. So... My artillery is going to and is going to likely be a hundred percent committed in a role to support the troops. I was about to call it a battlefield role, but they're, they're all battlefield roles. Um, but I was thinking more like rather than using them to do a bit of back and forth fire with their guns. They will be needed on the field. So let's... Oh, heavy... Oh, heavy horse... Uh, these are heavy horse howitzers. An almighty cheer for our heavy guns. 
Okay, we've also got some rangers. They'll go on the right flank. Oof. Immediately. Shift my flanks. Well, these grenadiers. Thank God I didn't deploy all my grenadiers. I mean, those men didn't take two kind. Oh God, alive! No, they did not. Uh, so, field marshal of Europe. These howitzers need to provide. Okay, the two on the left can provide support against this army. These guys are gonna struggle. guys start to hit the infantry that are coming up behind this cavalry wave. You men stay in square, you're going to do a lot of damage to those carabiners. You start to hit the infantry that's coming in, same with you. Right now, you're doing horse guards. I might bring my heavy cavalry over here as well. Kill that enemy general. Their artillery is starting to focus fire this combat. This set of guns is going to hit their artillery on the hill. So any howitzers to worry about. You guys continue to bombard the enemy on the ground floor. You guys keep in square formation. The horse guards are running over. Understandably, my skirmishers are very upset. Those men have routed when they really shouldn't, probably shouldn't have. Okay, so this flank that's currently not doing anything needs to advance to threaten the enemy. The grenadiers are going to get involved in this combat here. My field artillery is routing because it was exposed by the carab carabiner fire. You men get over here. You need to fill this gap. This combat here is going fine. You need to begin rolling back. Okay, these guys have come back, which is great news. These lancers have done a great job in sticking around for as long as they have. My cressier is going to make short work of those carabiners. You guys are going to fire kind of shot into the Hungarian hussars. Now you guys are going to dip into square formation. The foot guards are going to cause some problems, but keep hitting them with canister shot. You men fall back to the town. You men also need to set up, get into a position to where you're going to hit them. Some of our cavalry is going to go on a, a bit of a run. 
to knock out some of the artillery that's coming in over there. Uh, don't commit my cavalry. My grenadiers are going to be doing more than adequate damage. You guys start to hit some of these Royal Hungarian line that's coming in. You guys go after some of these Windbush Jäger. You hit the 32nd Regiment. You could probably do with helping you guys hit those howitzers lest they deploy canister quick climb shot which they are doing against us okay that's pushed back the foot guards you guys need to keep firing at targets on the left flank More militia coming in from the hills. 14th Regiment have been destroyed. You guys switch to round shot and bombard the square. Okay, Wimbush Jaeger, you are asking to be hit by cavalry. Now, oh, this, this artil <laughs> artillery did come back for a moment. Let's pick a new target for my other howitzers if I'm going to be charging cavalry in to knock out the Jaeger. My horse guard artillery can run. Doing some great damage against the enemy infantry. You guys focus on the Grenadier Guards with round shot. Okay, let's get, get my cavalry out of the way. You men can now fire at will. Come Hussars. So the Royal Hungarian Fusiliers are coming in. Commit our cavalry to fight the Hungarian Sars. Let's see if that's the the last of the units that are entering from this side of the battlefield. I hope it is, because then it means I can start to pivot my line to try and help my right flank. That's a bit tricky at the minute. So my light cavalry weren't going to beat their Hussars, but now my cuirassiers have got in. That should be more than enough to knock out their light horse. The howitzers need to start helping out, especially against this little flank. They've got some units actually firing on our cavalry combat. Okay, I think that's everyone coming in from this side of the map. Okay, you are firing at them. Let's take these two units, push them forward, you guys limber up. Okay, one of these units needs to start hitting this provincial line, because it looks like them firing into the combat is going to do more damage to our cavalry than their, than their cavalry are doing. Come on, you men need to make the first regiment waver, that's for darn sure. I mean, I don't think I targeted that battle, that unit there with quicklime, but there we go. Okay. I'm going to move my field artillery up. Oh, is there, more? there is more units coming in. It's a firelock arm citizenry unit though, so I'm not 
overly concerned. Let's get these cuirassier out of the way. Let's start to target. Ooh, that would have been a good hit against these mercenaries. My grenadiers aren't optimally deployed, but that's okay. Some, some hussars that came in but got saw, seen off. Okay, you guys get... You're, you guys are okay deployed like that. Oh, obviously the grenadiers come back. So our further leftmost guns can hit them. Whereas our rightmost guns. I mean, lots of this unit on the right have actually been pretty badly mauled. Push the grenadier unit, grenadier flank up. So that's a light regiment. Let's get these guys to maul the 6th Grenadier Regiment. Because hopefully it won't take too long to thin them out somewhat. Okay, it's only them facing this direction and they're going to be lobbing round shot from a long range. Let's get my cuirassiers back. They're all within range to hit the 17th in the flank, which is pretty good. Okay, good. So now you can help fight the grenadiers. Quick, run! Okay, let's pick. Pick some other targets. Wait a minute. Reinforcements are here! I mean, not necessarily great ones, but... Curassier is strong enough to hit the line infantry guards and break them. Okay, is that the end of the Grenadier Guards? It is! They're finally shattered. My left flank can pivot. And these guys only ever worked because I know the, the, these men have targets to the left of this regiment of foot. You men hold fire. Charge on into that regiment. You men push up to help out. I don't think they've got as many. God, that's it would have been that's a great hit. Let's get my crassiers out of there. They are going to be prime chasing down and killing units, they are. All my guns hit that regiment. To be honest, stop shooting. I commit my cavalry. These guys have no ammunition. So you chase down the Raw Hungarian line, you're chasing down the Wimbush Jäger, you are going to chase down... Go for that garrison line. Actually, come over here and go after that regiment. Wait, who's still here? Oh, there was a gunner up on that hill, temporarily. Or are they still over here? They're just hidden. Yeah, they are. You try and kill the Grenadier Guards. 
you likely will not because they're so close to the line you might get them you, I think you might have got them actually you get the Hungarian line there we go they've been destroyed let's continue just because there we go my infantry killed the gunners and now it's just these guys chasing down the Hungarians bit of a messy battle but I think that was a pretty good one all in smash smash yeah, it could have been close if I if we didn't have that many howitzers to hold the right flank while my armies were getting pushed back then maybe but damn She's been pushed back, you've been pushed back, and the garrison of Prague has been very heavily damaged. That's pretty awesome. Spanish scholars are on their way over. The Ottomans. Okay, here come the cavalry from Ankara. So that's part of the reason why I want to secure the secure Persia as quickly as possible because now all those doom stacks are coming in coming into the fray <laughs> this is part of the reason why you need to keep hitting all these smaller armies no I don't want to hit them if they attack me I will retreat 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 Yeah, no shame in retreating there. That army is badly mauled. It needs replenishment time. Oh, don't go after Lahore. <laughs> oh, this is yeah. This is why you can't ever, ever afford to have a hole in your line because that's what happens. You guys might think I'm being a bit. You guys might think I'm being overly cautious at times. Okay, all of you, less your artillery, get hold of them. Just auto-resolve it. Sorry, sir. There we go. So I, not, I took the guns away because the guns have a slow down my army. Um, okay, so we can build this into a church school. So you are going to try and support the fight to the north. You are going to hightail it towards Baghdad. You are probably going to join them as well. Hightail it to Baghdad. Theodore is going to march south. And fundamentally, Theodore can mop up these guys. I should keep my spies on the move, actually. Let's check. Fundamentally, I don't think I have too many spies in India. Mostly priests. Good. Majority Catholic. I'm Lord. Mm, you might be ready to ship off to Europe soon. Yes, these armies are both... I mean, you could probably stand just to attack this army to mop them up. You men march up here towards where this guy's hanging out. Let's get a solid core of infantry. And some howitzers to boost Marcel Lorac. You continue to replenish. Because, yeah, we've got lots of Armenian archers coming in. I suppose it's a bit late now, but let's try and get some reinforcements from Baghdad. Forward. You men push up, you men push up to here. 
So they're within range of Baghdad. Two more turns. Unfortunately, we're probably not going to get... We're not going to be able to build re build the re uh, uh, defences in time. Let's keep my men pushing up to get ready to provide support. I mean, it's a bummer about the whore up here. Well, this small force up here, because they're going to be annoying and derail my plans. Your Majesty. Eh, dump all these Gurkhas in here together for now. Let's do some building. Army Staff College in Copenhagen. Good. First, how it's a unit. Roll out to Sylvester Germain. Two howitzers, two guns. Yeah, that'll be enough for you. Hanover's fortified. This force, you replenish. You replenish. To be honest, we don't need a full garrison now that they've left. I mean, they still might try something sneaky so I might move you over to cover this bridge because it's faster for them there's a direct route to Paris from the north but not from the south so it will take them longer to go this way new men can march west to get ready to inter intercept this army at some point let's fix Orléans enemy raid at Mosul it's fine, you keep raiding, and Nayaf, you keep raiding. Mass production has been done, so now we're on to Shrapnel Shot, which is a fantastic technology. Got lots of recruitment. <laughs> yeah, that's another it's a trade fleet being built up. Okay, let's pick up a sloop here to try and transport this. Uh, this rake over to India, where it can be a bit, where he can be of a bit more use. Lots of good upgrades, but then Theodore is gonna go hit this guy. So let's mop him up, and then he'll be ready to fight these guys. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Theodore. Cheers, everyone.